um, welcome back. Um, well, I hit the 1,000 subscriber, as we've been threatening to do it for a while, and David uh, David Belcher, um, welcome, and uh, thank you for letting me know. As those of you who know me know how crap I am with keeping an eye on statistics and whatnot, it's not the major reason why I do this, so yeah, anyway. I really appreciate it, peeps, and yeah, all power to us. It's really, really cool. You know, I mean, I know to a lot of people, a thousand's nothing, but to me, it means a lot. I never ever thought I'd get to this. Um, I've got a few little plans for the future, which I'm not a money orientated person, and you, you people know that, but I have set up myself. And a, a Patreon account now, which I'll put links to. I'm not begging for donations because I need it for the channel. What I wanted to do was try and do some things with the channel, i.e., you know, some giveaways. Um, you know, if we all kind of have a, a lottery suite or something like that with the Patreon account, so everyone that's kind of donating, we, we buy some software or something with the money each month or something like that and do a raffle kind of thing or something like that. Um, a collective kind of software thing. Anyway, I, I haven't really formulated, but I, I finally opened myself up a Patreon account, and I thought I'd I'd put it out there and just see if anyone was interested in, in getting together with something like that, and we could work on something together. Anyway, let's get on with today's uh, little chat, um, and it's drum replacement, stroke augmentation, and and all the rest of it, and a fantastic free piece of kit. Um, if you haven't heard about them, it's the SM Mega Drums and SM Super Drum um, package. That um, I can't remember the guy's name, I'm really sorry. I put this together, it's a sample drum kit using Reaper's very own samplers. If I just show you quickly, here's all the snares. Now this is a slightly cut down version. This is a super drums that I'm using in this one. There's another one called Mega Drums, which is even more samples. It's a real kind of in-depth multi-sample drum kit with random round robins, etc., and all the rest of it. So yeah, it's quite cool. So what I'm using it for, despite the fact that there's God knows from here. To where are we? It goes all the way down to here. All these tracks here, you've got all your where the audio comes out, then you've got a mixer at the final kind of mixer, and then you've got all the channels with all the the um, samples, you've got your MIDI um, processor which has got your chokes in there, and you've also got a sequencer using uh, Mega Baby as your sequencer. So you can trigger and program beats and as soon as you hit play it will play the drum kit. Superb. But I'm not doing a lesson on that one today. I want to talk to you about um, how I'm using this in this track uh, to replace the, the kick and the snare. Now under normal circumstances when I'm doing this I would get rid of everything else and just keep the kick and snare sample section and use that and then save them as a track template so that I can only import them because you're importing a lot of samples. So if you only need sections of the kit, uh, prune it down to just the bits you're maybe going to use and save them as track templates. I think when it came, when you download it, it'll come as a Reaper project and then you open it up and save it as a track template as I've done. So how I load it up is just up and track, insert track from template, and here it is down here. We've got mega drums and super drums. Okay, but I think I actually saved those templates um, from the track project that comes. But then you can take elements out, you can take your snare drums out, save them as a track template, so you're only opening up them instead of all of those samples as you can see there's a lot okay because you've got overheads and you've got um, the close mics and overheads etc etc I mean it's a really in-depth bit of kit so it's great anyway let's move on first stage first we got to get a signal into this MIDI processor that is a MIDI signal first and foremost, 
from our kick and snare okay so easiest way i find of doing this there are there are various other ways but i'm just explaining how i've done it this time is i've copied or duplicated my kick drum here and got rid of any sends and effects etc i've copied my snare here and on each of these i've put a gate okay now the sound out of these doesn't matter. You're not going to hear the sound, but all you want to do is get that gate working so you're hearing every hit and you're hearing only those hits. You're not hearing any bleed, you're not hearing anything else. So I've got the attack as quick as possible. I didn't really touch anything else. The hold I've turned down because I don't want extra bleed coming in. Um, and then I just adjust my um, sensitivity. So if we solo this out, so I the right one and I'll let you hear what the kick actually sounds like now so you see I've just set that up it, it doesn't sound too bad but you know usually even I would maybe, maybe just get that to a blip if I have to and just get a blip coming out you know just that's enough you know in this case, I didn't need to because I got rid of all the bleed that I needed to uh, with the release where it is. And next thing you need to do is tick send in a MIDI, okay? And you then you need to find out what the note is. Now, if you go in, uh, let's just hold that open. If we open up the kick samples here, which this is dealing with, as you can see, in all of these kick samples, here's the note that this needs to be triggered and it's number 36 as you can see it's the same on all of these they're all notes 36 so you set that to 36 uh, the snare samples in this case are 38 so I've done this exactly the same thing on the snare set it up so this is triggering and I switch off the master uh, send so we don't hear it anymore uh, not on that one, that's, <laughs> that's the one I want to keep. So now we hear nothing. Well, we hear now the sample, sorry, we don't hear that kick there. So now what we're hearing is our kick sample. Okay. So also the same thing with us now. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll let you hear how it sounded first and I'll give you a reason, uh, give you an, an example of why I've done this. So let's just play it as it was. I mean, the, the, it was all just a bit too roomy and a lot of the problem was was the sound of the snare. I tried every trick in the book I could think of and just couldn't get it to, to calm that ring down or it and compression EQ the lot didn't do it. And I just felt the best thing to do is augment it with some samples and if we hear it now. I've still got the original snare in there underneath but I'm using mainly if we come across here the top mic of the replacement snare as you can see there, there is a bottom mic on these um, samples as well which I'm not using a lot of but there's a little bit of it in there there's also overheads for all of these close mics so you got tom overheads you've got you know the kick overheads but I'm not using them I just want the close mics uh, to augment those samples and then I'm processing on here there is like a kind of mixer down here which is your kick mix which is everything and I guess the symbols will be your overhead mics um, so anyway that's kind of like your bus groups but I, I'm just doing it on these individual tracks because I'm only using the two tracks that are here really I haven't processed the, the bottom snare because it's so quiet in there anyway and that, that's the kind of final result. It really gives us a nice tight kit sound. And yeah, 
It's just neat. And if you, I don't know if you can hear it, but you also get a sense of velocity because the the, the actual the gates kick out different volumes, and so that gets sent and it gives you velocity differences. Also with the, the mega drums you get the round robin, so it's not the same sample that's playing every time. So it's a really natural sounding kit. And I just think it's worked really well for this track. I mean, I, I can't play you the rest of the song because I haven't got permission for that, but I can let you hear what the drums were like. And as you can hear, it's a nice natural, you know, cool sounding kit. So I just thought I'd share that with you as I'm working on this track at the moment and uh, hope you found it useful. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, thanks people again. I really appreciate all the support and all the new subscribers and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. It's nice to know I'm doing something right. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.